Said I had to brush the, the dust off of it. Uh, we're excited to bring back a wonderful item from Cuisinart, and this is something very special. It's our eight cup food processor with a cookbook. Turn on any cooking show on television, and they pull out a, a food processor. Many, many times it's Cuisinart. Look who's back with us. Nan Kelly is here hey, from Cuisinart. Good. Hi, friend. Good, good to see you good again. Good to see you too. Thrilled my to have you here. Thank you. Glad you to are be an here. accomplished home cook. You're our Cuisinart representative, and we're thrilled to see you again. Thank you very much. Me too. This it becomes your work center, your food prep center in the kitchen, doesn't well, it? Well, it's your sous chef in the kitchen. It's an extra pair of hands, so it saves you time. You're not chopping and prepping. It saves on your budget at the grocery store. You're not buying the pre cut stuff. Sure. And it helps your family eat fresher. Now, can we just show real quick? what comes along with sure, this. It's yes. down on the lower ledge here. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you your machine, which is super easy to use. Two reversible discs, yes, is that right? two shredding and slicing discs. Exactly. You're also going to get your multi-blade there, so that's going to help you with all your chopping. And then you give us a recipe booklet with 80 recipes? 80 recipes, and the instruction booklet comes with 45 all on its own, so you're getting a lot of recipes. You're going to know what to do straight out of the box. We're also at $79 and change, which makes us, I believe, $50 less than retail. We're also four easy payments on the credit card, and at the end of the day, this is the quality of Cuisinart. They brought the, the food processor to America back in the 70s, so people sometimes call their food processor a Cuisinart, whether it is or whether it isn't. It's much like you pick up one of those tissues and you call it the K word <laughs> because it's interchangeable with tissue. It's actually not. That's a brand, so is this. Well, let's make let's make dinner. Okay, how about pizza? How about How it? about fresh... Mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella. David, the problem with buying um, cheese in the grocery store is that you might be getting ingredients in there that you don't want. Well, they put anti-caking agents in pre-shredded cheese. Many times it's a potato starch. And they do this to keep it from clumping together. Well, the problem is it also dehydrates the cheese. Well, and it doesn't make it very creamy for your recipes, Ooh, I kind found. Of gritty, doesn't it? Okay, so that we used the one side of the disc. Now you're getting two discs, a fine and a medium disc. We use that one side for the shredding. Let's flip it over. See that? There's your there's your slicing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pop in pepperoni. Watch this. Oh, we have to have pepperoni for our pizza. Well, yes, we do. And look how easy it is to attach. Pop that down in there. I'm sorry, did you blink? Because if you did, you missed the pepperoni slicing. Well, look, there's just one extra for you, David, right there. She now, has a chef snack. <laughs> a little jumper, as we call it. So, I don't know about you, but when I buy those pre-sliced and pre-done pepperonis, they look so pitiful in my refrigerator after a while. Well, there's they that. And you know, what the, you know what's the reason that they're good until, I don't know, June of next year? They're loaded with preservatives. This is uh, uh, allowing you to do much fresher ingredients. I will tell you we have three <laughs> color choices. The one in front of you is the silver. Mm -hmm. We also have this color. Well, there's the silver. The gunmetal. One is gunmetal, mm -hmm. and then I have white. It's a matte finish white, which is going to hide fingerprints. They're I all like matte that. finish, I like so they're a going lot. to hide those fingerprints because you know what? When you're working with food processor, you many times have moist fingers, yes. right? Okay, salads. You may not eat as many because of the prep. Well, again, did you blink? Because look how beautiful these English cucumbers are. Ooh, they're like poker chips. Look at look that. Look how pretty that is. And you know, this is an eight cup capacity, Here's so what you I can do. Show. Can I hold that? Yeah, hold Let that. Me just take a look at the profile there. Look at how these are so evenly cut. And uniform, yeah. You're yeah, it's like poker chips. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Little good for you, poker chips. Not the bad kind. Yeah, not the kind that'll make you go broke, right? <laughs> okay, All right. I'm going to dump these right here. So, David, so big jobs are great in the food processor, but look how the small jobs. I'm going to put this bowl, by the way, this bowl locks. You lock it into place. I'm going to put that stainless steel blade. This is your dough blade, your chopping blade. This is your workhorse. I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to turn it on high. Watch this for small jobs. Look at that garlic. I mean, it's snowing garlic. Isn't that great? All right, I'm going to take this off, take this blade off, or leave the blade in, actually. Pop in your ingredients for a quick little vinaigrette. Ooh. So this has the power, 350 watts of power, to make a homemade dressing. And those dressings that you buy at the grocery store, those can be a little costly. Now, the whole uh, secret with emulsification is getting two things to hold hands that don't ordinarily get along. Yeah, oil and vinegar. Oil and vinegar. So you want to emulsify them together so that they create that wonderful dressing, which is so great. And look at this. 
that wonderful dressing. You don't have to buy those envelopes. Sweetie, that of, smells so good. Isn't that great? You don't have to buy those mm. envelopes of dressing anymore because you can make it fresh and you know what you're getting in it. You're not getting a bunch of preservatives or a bunch of extra things, maybe sodium that you don't need. Love. Uh, this is so, so exciting. So many of us are going to be excited about this tool in the kitchen. Having this prep center, or mm -hmm. as you call it, a sous chef, yes. makes a tremendous difference. We've got it in the silver, in the gunmetal, and in this white finish. We also are $50 less than retail on this item. This is why I bought the Cuisinart 8 cup food processor carrot cake. Ooh, Look at that. All right, so how long would it take you to make two, three cups of carrots? Look at that, in a snap. In a snap, you can make Cute. carrot cake or you can do like just maybe well, I a could carrot make a salad. raisin carrot salad. I could do uh, carrot cake cupcakes, which I enjoy. You want to oh, give that a taste? I think I would. So Easter time is coming up, carrot cake, or you can you can shred zucchini in this too. Mm. Or if you're, that's my grandmother's recipe. It's delightful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Zucchini or potatoes, if you want to do hash brown potatoes or for a casserole. Delicious. Thank you, thank wow, you. Is that good? Glad you like it. I do very much. Shredded cas shredded carrots, perfect. All right, how about a quick little my coffee mug out of the way. Quick little salsa. You know, we're talking about saving money in the kitchen. So I've got some onions, some cilantro, some garlic. That's your basis. I'm going to turn can, this. Can I also show, before we go any further, let me just tilt this to camera. Look what didn't happen. This didn't turn to mush. Mm -hmm. It didn't puree. It chopped and minced and did everything it was supposed to do. Yes. And maintain the integrity of the texture. Yes, it did. And look at this. This pulse is perfect for this action that I'm about to perform. You've got high and low. High is perfect for your chopping. Low is good for your doughs. Correct. But watch pulse. If you want chunky salsa, Look at that. Fresh homemade that you're not spending at the grocery store and you don't know what's in there. You can control your ingredients. If you want less onions or more cilantro, then you have the opportunity to do that. Isn't Fresh. That delightful. And easy to do. You now, know, of course, I would load up on extra garlic because my salsa at my grocery store is never garlic enough for me. <laughs> well, it's got garlic in there. All right, coleslaw for the summertime and the springtime with our barbecues. You know, you can make up a coleslaw in a snap. I've got the shredding disc in there. So at eight cup capacity, if you wanted to do more, look at that, how easy. Throw in your green cabbage or your purple cabbage. Add a little, If you, some people do uh, carrots in there. You can take some of those shredded carrots. You know what my mother's secret to adding tang to your um, coleslaw? She uses a little bit of pickle juice from the pickle jar. Oh, and she also shreds pickles Inside into that. her slaw. That's perfect. Isn't that yummy? That sounds great. Oh, it's always the best. This is K44640. I want to thank you so thank much you for being so here. Thank you so much. I got cabbage Don't on the Don't you worry a thing about it. Nice <laughs> to have you back. <laughs> thank you, David. This Appreciate is K44640. We're going to check in with Stacy, who I believe has Instagram. Okay, Tell us so, about. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so normally at this time, we check out David's.